let's assume you have a light source here called S which emits a photon in this direction the distance the photon travels is going to be its speed times the time it travels for so the speed of light times t the time and we'll also say that s travels with a horizontal velocity which is v where v is a significant fraction of c now according to observer o who stands here s is moving in his reference frame which means that the time he measures is going to be dilated time so this distance is going to be v t prime and also according to observer o in his reference frame the path of the photon will actually look something like this because s is moving as well but according to the first postulate of special relativity the speed of light c is always constant so for the photon to have traveled a greater distance it must have traveled for a greater amount of time which means that this also has to be uh, dilated time and uh, this side of the triangle is obviously going to be ct because these two sides are equal and this is the premise that we start the derivation from so we know that t prime dilated time is simply proper time times gamma the lorentz factor and if we rewrite this in terms of gamma we get gamma equals t prime over t going back to the triangle uh, basic trigonometry tells us that c t prime squared the hypotenuse is equal to v t prime squared plus c t squared by pythagoras's theorem and if we rearrange this to write it in terms of c t squared and distribute the power we get c squared t squared is equal to c squared t prime squared minus v squared t prime squared and we can see this common factor of t prime squared which we can factor out to give c squared t squared equals t prime squared times c squared minus v squared the next step is to divide both sides by t prime squared and by c squared which gives us t squared over t prime squared is equal to c squared over c squared minus v squared over c squared then we take the square root of everything to give us t over t prime equals the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared now this expression here should look familiar because it's simply just the reciprocal of this so if we reciprocate both sides on this we get gamma is equal to 1 over square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared and that is how we arrive at this expression for gamma